Hi, I'm Rachel Ramsey. I'm here at IT Expo in Miami with Jeff Dworkin, Director of Marketing at Sangoma. Nice to have you with us. Hi, thanks. Thanks for being here. Um, I mean, I'm glad to be here. <laughs> Sangoma recently made a big announcement about session border controllers at IT Expo. So can you tell us a little bit about what makes them different in the industry? Well, sure. The press release came out yesterday. We announced them here. We're showing them at the exhibit hall at our booth. Uh, the interesting part is we have actually three models all came out at once, four models actually came out at once, three that are targeted at the enterprise, one that's targeted at the carrier. Uh, I can go into all the details of that, or I mean, there's, there are, and there are both hardware-based versions of this product and VM-based uh, versions of this product. So we, uh, we're really looking to continue our, our goal of offering a lot of options for our customers. Same thing when we came out with our, we, we were originally a board company, making boards for the Asterisk product. And then we moved into gateways, because, and people were like, well, aren't you going to be cannibalizing your board market with the gateways? And I was like, well, some of our customers want the internal boards. Some of them want uh, external gateways. So we needed to provide both of those solutions for our customers. Same thing with the session border controllers. The fact is we have hardware versions for those companies where that is the proper solution, and we have an all-software VM solution for companies that, uh, where that's the right solution. And we're really proud of the fact that we're addressing all the needs of our customers with our new products. Okay, great. Um, the Net Border Link Express recently got a TMC Product of the Year award, so sure. congratulations. Um, tell us a little bit about the Link Marketplace and how you're addressing the needs of um, the unified, commu unified communications needs of SMBs. Well, we continue to see Link accelerating. I mean, it is a little bit slow uh, with uh, the economy the way it is and people still wanting to hold on to some of their older technology but for those companies that are moving forward with link we have our link express uh, uh, appliance which uh, consolidates everything you need for link installation into one appliance unit it's got all the link components all the windows components and a gateway all built into one box and next up for that product version two we're actually going to take the session border controller software that we just released mm -hmm. and we're going to get that integrated into our link express so now if someone wants to use tdm in, a tdm interface for for their link installation or use standard sip trunks or use microsoft sip trunks you'll still only have to have this one appliance on your site to do it all okay great um, another big topic here at IT Expo is WebRTC. Mm -hmm. So what kind of impact do you think it'll have on telecommunications and the industry? Well, I'm a big advocate of WebRTC. I, I actually believe that WebRTC is going to do to SIP telephony what SIP telephony did to TDM telephony. The whole idea behind clientless communications, and you don't need any specialized applications, you don't need Skype anymore, you won't need a soft phone anymore, uh, for all we know, telephones, the, the, the internal guts of telephones disappear when it just becomes plastic wrapped around a browser because all of that important functionality, whether it be voice or video, is all included right in the browser technology. So, although it will take a few years, again, I, I see that all of that whole classification technology going away and it's all just browser-based. And whether it's WebRTC or some future version, like when, we, when VOIP came out first, it was 8323, and SIP sort of took it over. Maybe there's another similar technology a little bit down the road from WebRTC, but it will be clientless communications. It's real, it works, and uh, I believe in it. Okay, perfect. Um, what's your take on the open source market, and do you plan on um, providing support for it? Oh, absolutely. I mean, Sangoma's history, our base, and a lot of our, our core market is in the open source technology space. As we said, we started our company, or we actually, we started our company uh, delivering open source boards for the open source telephony market. We support Asterisk now, we support FreeSwitch, and our boards and all our software are based in that sort of mindset. And it is also one of the reasons why we're able to deliver products so cost effectively. We, we believe in open source, we are going to continue to support that market, and we actually use a lot of open source components in our products to keep our development costs down, which is why we can deliver a real high quality product, very feature rich, rich at costs much lower than some of our competitors who are building all this stuff from the ground up, while we have no problem going out and sourcing well-built software from the open source community. Okay, great. And what can people expect to see at your booth at IT Expo? 
Uh, well, we're really excited about the booth. We have a brand new booth out on the floor. Uh, we have our Ask the Experts section. We, we have a great big whiteboard and a bunch of chairs and uh, there's people all the time at the whiteboard now sort of doodling out ideas and architecting things. We have our, our uh, VP of Engineering is there. We have some other really talented product people in the booth and they're actually able to come by uh, you know, attendees are able to come by and say, I don't quite understand this thing. Can you explain it to me? And whether we are using our products to explain or help these folks out, or we're just doing general education, uh, in the first few hours of the show, our, our, our VP of engineering was at the board for the entire session, must help four or five, six people really noodle out some really uh, interesting uh, architectural solutions, and we hope it uh, continues for the rest of the show. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for your time, and enjoy the rest of your time at IT Expo. Thanks.